What's up everybody, Enosh here, and uh, guess what? It's time for Poindexter on the road, because sometimes news breaks, and sometimes there are stories that need to be shared, and I am on the road, I'm in the car. So I'm in the Nerdmobile right now, and I'm here to share some interesting news with you. Now this is a story that's been out a couple of days, but I really wanted to talk about it, and that is the new Flash movie for the DCEU. Um, this is a movie that I've been looking forward to, but there's been a problem with this movie, and that is a lot of different people have been uh, connected to this movie at some point. They've had a few different directors, including Lord and Miller, who got fired from the Solo Star Wars movie uh, just uh, last year. Here's what's going on. The Flash has picked up two new directors in John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein, and they are looking to put this movie together soon. Someone tweeted uh, John Daly and asked them when his next movie would be coming out. Now, it has been suspected that his next movie will be The Flash. That's been kind of the, the idea that's been out there is that his next movie will be The Flash. And although he didn't mention The Flash specifically, he did say in a tweet back, if all goes well, sometime in 2020. Now this is what makes this interesting, is that Warner Brothers has two spots for 2020 reserved. One is February 14th and the other is June 5th. Now obviously release dates can change as, as movies get made and changed and, and rearranged and things like that. And I didn't mean to rhyme that, but it did. And sometimes that happens. Uh, so it's interesting because uh, with them saying that my next movie is going to come out in 2020, there are already two dates in 2020 that are reserved. Now, a lot of people feel that one of these dates will belong to the Birds of Prey movie, which will feature Harley Quinn and Batgirl and some of the other women of the Batman universe. Uh, and I'm looking forward to that movie. That's another movie we could talk about sometime. But the feeling is, is that The Flash will now take the place of one of these spots, either February 14th or... June 5th. I'm looking forward to this movie. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with The Flash in the DCEU. I, I'm one of those who really liked him in Justice League. I thought that uh, his character was, was cool. I know some people have a problem with the fact that he wasn't a forensic scientist before, it, it appears anyways, that he wasn't a forensic scientist before his accident, um, where in continuity it's always been that he was a forensic uh, scientist worked for the police and he was he was there when the accident happened when the lightning bolt came and he was exposed to that and and became a metahuman and became the flash but you know I think that they can tell this story however they want to tell it and I don't necessarily have a problem with the way they're telling the story right now um, obviously you all know that I love the flash TV show and so you know, it'll be interesting to see the contrast between the Flash movie and the Flash TV show. But I'm willing to give it a shot, and I really hope that they uh, delve into the reverse Flash a little bit more. You know, in the Flash TV show, all we got was the first season, and I know the reverse Flash has been in there. He's been in Legends of Tomorrow. They've been kind of throwing him around there. But I want to see more of reverse Flash because he is Flash's number one villain. And so I'd like to see some of that. I hope they don't do a thing where like they kind of uh, throw in a like a second rate villain and kind of tease that they're going to bring in the main villain. I think that was one of the problems with Green Lantern. You know, you got to come out with a good villain right off the right out the gate, you know, and uh, with Green Lantern, they didn't. They set up Sinestro. And I thought it was good, but I thought that that could have been done in the first half of the movie. Have Sinestro turn evil then and go with it. So I'm hoping that with the Flash, we get some good action. I know we're going to get some great special effects uh, just from what we saw in Justice League. No matter what you think of that, I love the special effects in Justice League. I think that they did really well. Um, you know, there's been two, there's been three speedsters now that we've seen in the, in the films, uh, in the movies here in the last few years. Uh, two have been Quicksilver. Two different versions of Quicksilver, one in the MCU and obviously one in the X-Men movies. And out of those two, I will just say this, I thought the MCU, that's one of their, their rare misses. I did not like Quicksilver in the MCU in uh, Age of Ultron at all. Didn't like the character, didn't like didn't like the way he was portrayed. I just, I cringed every time I saw him. And then even when he turns good and tries to save people, 
it was like almost a relief that he was gone because I didn't like the, the effects that they used for him. Um, I didn't think it was that good. Now, Quicksilver and the X-Men movies, which is the exact opposite thing, right? So X-Men is so hit and miss and some things hit and, and a lot of things miss and they get wrong, but what they did get right was Quicksilver. Oh my goodness. And the way that they show that, that him moving uh, at the speeds that he moves and, and rearranging things and the comedic kind of uh, angle to that. I love that. And um, man, that's that's good stuff right there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you guys all know that I'm a big DC guy, but oh my goodness, that version right there, um, to me, I mean, it even has elements of who the Flash is, that comedic value and, and the speed and everything, and I, and I love that. So it'll be interesting to see how they do that now with a Flash movie. Now, for those of you who are hoping for Flashpoint, it um, doesn't look like that's going to happen at this point. Uh, all the stories seem to be saying that it's not going to be the Flashpoint story. And I'm okay with that because I think that DC needs to now start building up. But I think that they they do need to start telling some of their classic stories with their movies. Don't just come up with some new thing. You guys have so much rich material to draw from. There are so many amazing stories in, in DC that you could tell with these characters. Tap into that, Warner Brothers. Tap into that, DC use some of those classic things don't have everything be set up nowadays it seems like with a lot of movies we get all this oh well, we're setting up for it later down the road if these are a success then we get them use what's successful right away that's what i say what do you say i want to know about your comments down in the comments section okay and also you can go go over to twitter at enosh music and we can keep the conversation going on there let's have a conversation about the new flash movie are you excited about it are you excited about possibly seeing it in 2020 what are your thoughts what are your gripes what don't you like about the flash let me know that i would love to have a conversation with you about that because that's what we do here in the poindexter lounge we talk about all the fun stuff that we like and superhero movies is one of those things, all right? So, hey, until next time, I'm Enosh, a.k.a. Enosh Fett. Keep running. All right, we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.